Okay, today we're going to learn how to use the Nikon D40 DSLR camera. First of all, you want to make sure that it's on. There's a little toggle switch here which can turn it off and on. You also want to make sure that it's set to manual mode, so always stay away from auto. Now, if you leave your camera on, that's not such a big deal because the camera does power down. Uh, but when you check out a camera from me, always make sure that you recharge the battery before you return it. Now while you're in manual mode, you will need to light meter to get the proper exposure for your photos. And you light meter by pointing the camera at the object you want to photograph and then lightly pressing down on the silver shutter button. When you do that, you will see this light meter come up underneath the image in your viewfinder. Now there's also a menu on your digital screen, but the one that you want to use is in your viewfinder. And the reason that you want to do that is because you want to make sure that your camera is actually pointing at the object you want to photograph while you are light metering. So point the object or point the camera at the object, press the shutter slightly down, and then make sure that your light meter is reading right at zero. If it's reading far to the left or far to the right, towards the plus or the minus, then you want to adjust your shutter speed and your f-stops until you get it back to zero. To adjust your shutter speed, you're going to use this dial here. Just by turning it right or left, you can take your shutter speed up or down. If you want to adjust your f-stop, you want to also use that dial, but while you're using the dial, you want to hold down this button. And if you notice, this button has a little aperture icon that tells you that holding down this button while using this dial will adjust your f-stop. So that's how you adjust your f-stop and your shutter speed. And you want to get, get both of those adjustments just right so that your light meter reads zero. Um, if you want to do, an, do a specific artistic shot, such as stopping motion or showing motion, or a wide depth of field or a narrow depth of field, you'll want to make one adjustment first and then use your other adjustment to set your light meter. So what does that mean? If we, were, we wanted to show motion, we would set our shutter speed at a low shutter speed first and then adjust our f-stops to get to the proper exposure. Okay, another thing that you want to pay attention to is the exposure compensation number down here. This always needs to be at zero in order for your light meter to work properly. If it's any other number than zero, you'll need to adjust it by going to a special menu that you can access by pressing this button twice. Once you do that, this menu will pop up and you'll need to use your uh, arrow buttons here to arrow down to this number, hit OK, and then also use your arrow buttons again to make that uh, number zero and then hit OK again. Then you should be free to go ahead and take photos and meter as you would normally. You can also adjust your ISO or your film speed number in this menu or I've actually set up your function button which is right here on the side of the camera to also adjust ISO. So that just makes it a little bit easier for you. You can hold down this function button and then, again, use the dial to adjust your film speed. Now you'll notice on the side of the camera, the lens also has a manual and an auto mode. You want to typically set your uh, lens to manual, but sometimes you're going to take many photos at once and you won't have enough time to constantly focus. So you want to, for those shots, go ahead and set to auto. Now your focus ring for your lens is right down here at the bottom or at the end of the lens, and then this middle part allows you to zoom in and out. So that's basically it. Oh, also there's a little flash button here, but stay away from the flash when you're first starting out because uh, the flash can wash out your photos and, and sometimes it's not the best idea. So that's it. Have some fun, take lots of creative photos, and enjoy.